So I had the privilege of uh, leading the longest air assault raid in history, the first mission into Afghanistan in October 2001. But we needed a lot of gas, we needed a lot of external support, we needed a lot of other enablers, and we put the force at risk for half a day, 13 hours. With Defiant X, with its ability to land into a landing zone in a level attitude without having to flare for a decel, we would have gotten into the landing zone to put the commandos on the target much more effectively and much more efficiently. That's what we call building combat power. An aircraft like uh, the Defiant X can, can do that. In the Pacific, it's even more important because your, your lines of operation are going to be spread out more. You're going to have these small bases and supply lines that will be positioned either on ships or on land pockets, uh, islands. So you're going to want to move more stuff at the same time to build that combat power, that combat coefficient, faster than your adversary can. So you can win. So picking up the new infantry squad vehicle, you know, the M777, I mean, these are things that Defiant X will excel at. And, and the uniqueness of Defiant X, having a prop that can, you know, you can fly, you know, fast, to low level, avoiding radar, staying down in the clutter, highly maneuverable, highly agile. But then when you get to that release point, you can, you know, reverse pitch on that prop and slow down quickly, which all results in a more survivable aircraft so you can land more infantry onto the objective as well as your enablers and you can get on the ground and you're not as exposed uh, in some sort of you know transition to land or anything like that you can actually land much faster than what a Blackhawk can land so it's everything a Blackhawk can do except much much more